Castle on the Hill really intrigued us. Castle Post is located in Versailles, not Versailles, just outside Lexington, Kentucky, and just down the road from Keeneland Racetrack. The owner, Tom Post, gave me a personal tour of this medieval bed and breakfast that would make Beowulf proud. Donald Trump would be impressed too. It's been listed for sale at $30 million. The outside is reminiscent of the Robin Hood days of the 1300s, where things were dark and dingy, and there were little windows, if, uh, if they had windows at all at that time, because it was a defensive era. And there's no trees around the castle itself, because they used the trees when they built the castle, and they used the open area for a means of protection from advancing troops or other adversaries. You don't see real big, tall castles in Europe. You see spread out castles like this one. And the reason is, is because the castles were built of boulders, basically. So you'd have a big boulder on the bottom, followed by slightly smaller buildings on the next floor, and, and as you went up to about the third floor. You couldn't build much higher than that because the weight of the boulders on top would cause the ones on the bottom to crack. And then when it rained and froze, the water would get in there and expand them, and pretty soon, pretty soon, maybe a hundred years later, the, the thing would start falling apart. You could see the beginning with ar what they call archer windows, which are long, narrow windows that you could shoot a bow and arrow, shoot an arrow with the bow, out of the castle. Uh, and it would be very hard to get uh, into the castle because of the open plain and the narrow openings. And so you were bound to lose a lot of men if you were trying to attack a castle that way. About 10 years ago, Castle Post was on history's ash heap. Fire destroyed much of the renovations Tom had started. It was very dark days. People were kind enough to put flowers out of the gates to the castle at that time. And it's a lot of community support really helped. Tremendous community interest in this facility. It's really part of Kentucky now. Tom had bought it from a couple who built the original castle back in 1969. They had fallen in love with the European old country and then fell out of love with each other. Tom swooped in and bought it. He has made it more of a retreat for modern life. Despite the nearby highway traffic, this is a quiet castle. That's because it's below us and this noise would have to travel through the ground and then up to our 20 foot high wall through that and then through the three foot wall thickness of the castle itself through that in order to get the noise from the outside and it just doesn't you don't get it because it can't permeate that density so it's very quiet here and i say people come in on sundays just to read the sunday paper in peace and quiet and have a cup of tea or a hot coffee and a danish and sit in our library there each room is distinguished by with its own furnishings and its own pictures and paintings and artwork. And there's lots to do here, from tennis to basketball. By the way, we have a full-length basketball court, We're just a size that every uh, Kentucky young man would like to have if he was in high school or college, his own basketball court. We have a round bedroom for the people who want a, a different bed, a different opportunity to snuggle up to their partner because you wouldn't want to fall out of the round bed. <laughs> the real creativity is in the castle's turrets. Designed for surveillance, they're now cozy two-story bungalows. We have four turrets that are independent castles in themselves. There's a sitting room on the bottom floor and a large bedroom with a kingside bed on the second floor. There are plenty of antiques, artwork, handcrafted works, and what every castle needs, a dragon. We do have a dragon. It was, uh, it was made, actually made in China. It's about 20 feet tall and uh, is, has its own pond. There's a dining room and plenty of bars with libations. To indulge, though, you will need to call ahead of time. It's fun, and that's what I bought it for originally, was to have a good time with the place. Uh, there's not anything else like it that I know of in the United States. And that's why Castle Post is so intriguing. Thank you.